Hey everyone, this is my reaction to the 11th episode of Uma Musume Pretty Derby. So, in the last episode, special week, she went home to see mommy and the idea was to relax and, you know, because of all the stress and training she's been doing, she needs to just take it, take it down a notch for a little bit, you know, get some good old R&R. &R. And to help with that, the mom ties her to the house with a rope, which I loved so much. The more I think about it, the more I think that may have been the funniest gag in the entire show. Just every time I see Special Week just sitting there tied up to the rope, I just, it, it's good stuff. Anyway, yeah, th also just had some nice, you know, heart-to-heart -heart talking with the mom and stuff like that. And a gift, a nice little horseshoe, which was, you know, like, homemade horseshoe. Anyway, yeah, Special Week rested, she went back, she won her race, and it was a lot of, it was a lot of good stuff happening, episodes, I would say. And you had Silent Suzuka doing her own thing, not watching, just doing her own thing. Anyway, let's get into it. Three, two, one, play. Horses galloping together. Well, slowly. Aren't they all? I mean, these races involve horse girls, so I'd say they're pretty special. Oh, right, yeah, I forgot about that too. Silent Susuke has got to have a comeback. You should, should probably tie that. We don't, we don't want any more bad things to happen. I have faith in her. Hey, it's the... Yeah, Bruya. The horse that El Pasa lost to. I think. I'd like to believe she thought about Special Week right there. I'm pretty sure she did. That was actually a pretty nice transition into the opening. Special Week also set a new record with a race, I think, in the last episode. Oh my god. I hate you so much, Windows. I hate you so much. Yeah, I'm not much of a sports enthusiast at all, but if this was a real thing, I would definitely go to these races and cheer on my favorite horse girl. I even tossed carrots on the track, hoping, hoping they would catch them in their mouth. And I like my phone number written on the carrot. Possibly a tracking device inside of it. So it just can kind of rest in her belly. Anyway, back to the... The show. That zoom in there was on point. <laughs> uh, most people are more serious than gold ship. <laughs> oh no, it's never enough staring. Don't be silly. Yeah, team's come a long way since episode one. Can we help you? Uh oh. Is it bad news? I feel like it's bad news. But you don't- you're not a Japanese horse, are you? Yeah, the horse that beat El Condor Pasa. I don't feel like that's a good reason. I feel like that's more of an excuse than a reason. <laughs> you 
Yes, that's the one. Very excited extras. <laughs> All she's doing is just walking normally. But yeah. Everybody wants a piece of Suzuka. <laughs> okay. She doesn't seem very happy. The red uh, literally rolling out the red carpet. I guess she's just that important. Uh, it must be. Uh. What? <laughs> uh, I was actually about to say something of that effect. Well, no, she clearly doesn't take, take any of these horses seriously. Oh, trust me, I'm looking all over. And I like I just I want to see Sara and Suzuka beat her, just full on beat her. That would just make my day. Well, especially beating her would be fun as well, but I feel like Suzuka would have a better chance. Ugh. Yeah, like in episode one, maybe. It's always too early to be happy. <sighs> He's making me less confident. I bet you do. I do as well. Stretching. Yes, she does. Huh. Don't go all sit around us. Uh. <laughs> These two. <sighs> yeah, anyone that doesn't go is missing out. She lost once. <laughs> that's that's something. Man, Suzuki really has gotten back a lot of her speed. <laughs> now it's her turn to see her unconscious. Uh, like they're taking turns. But yeah, they support each other pretty well, I would say. <laughs> and the fangirls go wild. I mean, a professional athlete should be able to deal with that, so...
<laughs> I can hear the fangirls from out here. Is it about Broya? I have important things to do. Winning techniques. Uh, I guess she has been busy since that race. We don't need any more Sundere. I don't care who does it, I just want somebody to beat her. I don't need no notebook. <laughs> I don't know. I don't really see Special Week being able to beat her, but there's a possibility. I made this feel the way because I've seen Special Week lose so much. <laughs> uh, double head pat. Yes, you did. <laughs> I'm sure I'll be fine. Writing more letters. Oh, you're awake. Did my writing wake you up? Wants to cuddle. I should hope so. You don't want to go in anything thinking you're going to lose. <laughs> yeah. I wish there's a bit more of that, but you having fun there, gold ship? She can. She definitely has a good chance. Cup. Uh. Uh, that's gonna give us a Kamehameha wave thing last. My god, it really did spread. Uh, looks more like a curse than anything else. You're not actually that trainer? You just snuck in one day? I bet he did. Well, people who aren't medically trained believed, yeah, but that's me as much. Yeah, that's all that comes down to. That's all that matters. She's gonna win. Uh... Just watch her walk like that for a while. I don't know. Something about it's captivating. <laughs> and we're back here. Gotta tie that shoe. And preferably, don't hurt yourself. Because if we ever repeat of that, I don't think we're getting back into racing afterwards. But this is what you've worked so hard for for the past year plus, so. 
<laughs> Man, I I love that scene. They just all fell into the water. It was so silly and fun. I just that was good stuff. <laughs> Probably one of my favorite scenes of the anime. Silently. Yet the audience are not. <laughs> Hi everyone. <laughs> They're still keeping that up. Ten. You are not intimidated enough to be making a smack talk. Like, who are you again? Uh, we'll see about that. I think he just amuses her more than anything else. But yeah. I mean, it's a cool looking visor, I guess, but... I don't know. So I think we... That was a weird transition. <laughs> you know, I thought the thing would fall off if you ran fast enough. I don't know, I've never actually worn one, so... What do I know? Well, yeah, that's where the best view is. You gotta at least start there for a little bit. Alright, we'll see about this. I think she'll do a little bit better than you might think. But you really never know how a race is going to go with this show. <laughs> uh, phrasing. Yeah, I think she can do it, though. You guys aren't shooting energy at her anymore. You should probably keep that up. The Suzuka, run faster, please. Suzuka, be sure to live up to everything. I'm waiting for it. And. Here we go. Okay. I knew this was coming. <laughs> uh. Yes. Wreck that cocky sun visor chick. <laughs> uh. Running past all the unimportant characters. Is there an echo out here? And I think she's ahead. Uh, yep, she's right there. <laughs> now what? You take off your sun visor to get less weights, run faster, you know, all that. And then the rest of your clothes while you're at it. <laughs> uh, what are you gonna do now? Now I just gotta hope nothing goes wrong. <laughs> He's not wrong. <laughs> uh, wow, even trainer. Well, yeah, <laughs> she's better than anyone else on your team. Though I'm just happy she didn't hurt herself, really, but yes, it's good that she won. <laughs> uh, still would like you to have been there to give her a congrat congratulatory hug, but oh well. <laughs> uh, 
uh, probably be a, you're probably supposed to be a little bit less biased on that, but you know it's fine. <sighs> Is she impressed? Uh, the lock in. I know a lot of people hate on 3D, but I don't know. Just turn around and speak up. <laughs> the gang's all there. gonna dive on another group. Like a group hug. Even though I don't think Special Week's in there, but... <sighs> wow, rejected. <laughs> Just a bit, not a lot. Yeah, Trina definitely was. <laughs> uh, such mean horses. <laughs> If I do, they'll just make fun of me and possibly kick me. Now I have head pads. Indeed. <laughs> yes, it was. We saw everything. I was just sweating for my eyes, honest. It was really hot outside. Man, she is just so cute. And he's going again. No, just more eye sweat, I told you. You never listen. Then I'm gonna marry Special Week. <laughs> Which, you know. Those two are like always on the same page. <laughs> and there she is. Are we gonna see this race this episode or will it be saved till next episode? I don't know how much time is left. I think we'll get our answer soon enough. And next episode it is, yeah. I figured. That was helpful, though. Uh, I hope a special week can beat Broya, but... It's not going to be easy. Strike indeed, bowling with carrots. <laughs> uh, gold ship is so silly. Beyond Beyond. It looks like, looks like the best sleepover ever. But somebody should clean up the Uno cards. So that was the 11th episode of Uma Musume Pretty Derby. And this episode, I'd say the focus was mostly on Silent Suzuka, because she's been preparing for her comeback race for a while now. And this episode, she pretty much continued to do so. 
And you both pretty much, Suzuka and Special Week, both training hard for their own respective uh, matches, but Suzuka's was coming up first in this episode, so that's kind of, that was where the main focus was. And pretty much doing her best, everyone was, you know, getting excited to see this comeback match, you know, talking to her, it's like, hey, Suzuka, you know, I look forward to seeing you race, I look forward to racing with you, I look forward to this, I look forward to that, you know, it's great to see you, just, you know, kind of comments like that. Pretty much, of course, not everybody was super happy, like, Visor and Sean seemed to be just kind of salty in, in general. But, yeah, Special Week and Suzuka were also, like, even though they were mostly kind of doing their own things, when they did meet up, like, back back at the in the back of their room, they would do things like put blankets on the sleeping other one, you know. Little things like that, just let you know that although they are kind of doing their own separate thing, they're still together, they still support each other, so I did like that. I just wish they spent more time together, but I understand they both have their important things to do, but still. On Special Week side of things, you have pretty much Broya also deciding to join this, uh, Jap Japan Cup race, which is not very good news for a special week. This is the horse that El Condor Pasa lost to. So, ever since that race, El Condor Pasa has been working hard to try to beat her in a future race, like making this huge notebook full of uh, tips and tricks on how to do it, I guess. And she was willing to, to let Special Week use that, which is nice, but Special Week decided against it. She wanted to defeat her with her own strength uh, and all that, which reminded me a little bit of a certain scene from My Hero Academia. But anyway, she's pretty much, yeah, she's working hard for that. And you have Suzuka, who, well, she she has her comeback race in this episode, so but still, I would say most of the focus was definitely on her. She, like, she talked to the trainer, the trainer said pretty much, yeah, the doctor said that you wouldn't be racing again or or whatever, but everybody, everybody else thought you could, and look, you can, it's great. It's something like that. And yeah, Suzuka went out to the racetracks, and she did her best. And for a while there, it looked like she was not going to do so well, but I knew what would happen at some point, and she just turned down that switch and just went forward and passed all the unimportant girls, including the uh, Salty Visor Chun, and ended up winning the race. And everybody was really happy and excited and cheering, and some people were even brought to tears looking at you, trainer. And yeah, it was great. Just There was just no special week there to give Suzuka a congratulatory hug is the only real problem with it. But still, it was good. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention is uh, Gold Ship decided to, to help out Suzuka to like blast some good thoughts energy beams at Suzuka to to help, which was an odd strategy. Really, that's uh, it was very silly. wasn't I didn't really find it that funny at at that moment. To be honest, everybody was joining in. They're doing their best. However, when it became funny was when Suzuka looked out to the audience and then saw them. That's when I actually so okay. Yeah, that was that was pretty funny. She was just like, okay, what are you guys doing exactly? I don't know, but I'll just politely wave and do my best. So that was pretty funny. So that joke required a little bit more setup to really hit me. But in the end, I'd say that was that was good stuff. Suzuka really was really cute in this episode, especially at that moment when she was talking to trainer and she was like, I'll be counting on you in the future. That head tilt smile thing she did. That just, man, that hit me hard, hard in the heart. I'm not going to lie. But just in general, she had plenty of cute moments this episode. She... I'd say she's pretty solidly my second favorite horse girl in the series, with Special Week being being number one. Although, you know, I, I pretty much like all the horse girls for the most part, all the somewhat important ones. And a lot of the not-so-important ones. Uh, but yeah, just, uh, I look forward to the next episode. Hopefully Special Week can take on Broya and be the number one horse girl in Japan, so... Thank you for watching, and thank you Snoki, the Dragon of Oshu, as well as everyone else, for doing what you can to support the channel. It means a lot to me, and I hope we can continue to grow the channel together. If you want to do more to support the channel, then you can become a patron on my Patreon, and get cool rewards like early access to certain videos. Have a good one.